Hi everybody, it's Tim. Just wanted to give a quick intro before today's video. So in this video, I'm playing against Andrew, who's currently a sophomore at UC Santa Cruz. UC Santa Cruz competes in Division 3 of college tennis in the US. Andrew and I actually met about two years ago when we were both playing a open tournament. He, at the time, was still a senior in high school, and I was still rated at USTA 4.5. We exchanged numbers and have been meaning to hit, and finally got around to it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing or liking the video. I'll see you at the end of the video. I'll share my thoughts on how the match went and strategy.
so much dude. What is that? Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Just wanted to share some thoughts on how the match went. First, I think Andrew is a super impressive and talented player. Huge serve, first and second, and huge, huge forehand. He's also got a really deadly return of serve. I've never seen so many of my first serves come rocketing back at me for clean winners or just right at my feet and not be able to pick them up. I feel like the biggest difference in our games were he has bigger weapons and return of serve. In the second set, I was able to make it a little bit closer because first the ball slowed down so that benefited me and I was able to target his back end a little bit more on my serve. I did have set points in the tiebreak that I was able to close out, but credit to Andrew for playing those points really clutch. On the positive side, I do think I had some good points at net and maybe I could have brought him into the net or drop shot a little bit more. Obviously easier said than done when you're playing somebody with huge ground strokes like Andrew. For myself, I feel like the biggest thing watching this match again that I need to work on is my return of serve. But I'm really curious to hear what you guys think. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. 
I should also mention that Andrew is actually quite rusty and coming back from a lot of injuries. He had some wrist problems, knee problems, shoulder problems. He got hurt a lot in this past year and he hasn't actually really been hitting that often. So this was his kind of first time playing competitive matches in several, several months. This is him maybe not even at 100%. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the content, please consider liking the video or subscribing to my channel and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.